All right, let's do a more complicated problem. It says the sum of two digits in a two digit number is five, okay? If the reverse of the original number is nine, more than the original number, find the original number. Okay, this is kind of a little more complex than what we did in the previous two. So, first of all, let's look at our information, okay? We have a two digit number, okay? So, X, Y, and that goes over to the two digit number. Now it says the sum of the two digits in the two digit number is five. Okay, so x plus y is equal to five. Okay, that's our first equation. Now it says something a little different over here. It says if the reverse of the original number is nine more than the original number, find the original number. <laughs> okay, so the reverse, what's the reverse of xy? Well, the reverse of xy is simply yx, okay? And they're telling us that that's equal to nine more than the original number. So the original number is xy. So this winds up being xy plus nine, okay? Now this looks like a really simple equation, very, very basic algebra that you, but you might, that you might be thinking. But the problem here is, is the way this is defined, okay? We're saying yx. This is a two-digit number. This doesn't mean y times x, okay, as it's displayed commonly in algebra. So we really can't leave this this way. And you might, you might want to simplify the equation the way it is. So you might want to say yx minus xy is equal to 9. But if I were to just find the numbers for y and x and plug these in here, I'd be multiplying, which would be incorrect in this case. So I have to find a different way to define the terms yx and xy. And essentially, the way I can do that is like this. I'll give, an, I'll give a quick example. If I have the number 25 here, okay, again, this is the tens digit, this is the ones digit. Now what I can do here is something really clever. I can say 25 is equal to 2 times 10 plus 5, okay? And what did that do for us? It might not make sense right now, but if you think about this for a second, 10 times 2 is 20, plus 5 is 25. 25 equals 25. So essentially what I did was I took the tens number, I multiplied it by 10, and I added the ones number. All right? And you can now do this for these over here. So what's your tens digit? Well, in this case, y is my tens digit. So if I wanted to define this the same way as I did over here, I would do something like this. I would say y times 10 plus x, okay, and I'll use brackets, and I'll say minus x times 10 plus y, and that is equal to 9, okay? So, this is this is the original value here and this is the reverse value here okay so what I can do now is I can start working through this and removing these brackets here and I'm going to do that right now so I can say that this is 10 y plus x and remember there's a negative here but I have to distribute this negative into both of these here so it ends up being minus 10 x okay minus y is equal to 9, okay? Now I can do a little bit more with that because I get some common I get some common terms here. I got at plus x and minus 10x and 10y and minus y. So 10y minus y gives me 9y and negative 10x plus x gives me negative 9x and that all equals 9, okay? Now we have this other equation over here, x plus y. So this is a really important equation. You might want to put a star next to it or whatever. And what you want to do is you want to solve for either y or x. It really doesn't matter. I'll solve for y. So y is equal to 5 minus x, okay? Now what I can do is I can substitute 5 minus x in for y over here and solve this equation for x. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring it up over here. So this will be 9 and then 5 minus x minus 9x, right, is equal to 9. So 9 times 5 is 45. Minus 9x 
minus 9x, and that's equal to 9, right? So minus 9x and minus 9x is negative 18x, so this ends up being 45 minus 18x is equal to 9. So what I want to do now is subtract 45 from both sides. Subtract 45, and what I get here is negative 18x is equal to negative 36, right? Negative 36, divide both sides by negative 18, and I get that x is equal to 2, okay? Because the negatives cancel out here. Oh, got to get that on camera. Because the negatives cancel out here, so x is simply equal to 2, okay? And that's exactly how I solved it. Now, what I can do, if I wanted to find y, is all I'd have to do is plug into this equation right here. So it's, uh, I already have an equation for y, actually. I should use this one, because it's much more convenient. And that says y is equal to 5 minus 2. So y is equal to 3. And now we have our answer to our two digits, okay? We know what the digits here are for the original which is what the question was asking us, and we also can find the reverse, really no big deal. Um, so the original xy is equal to 23. Okay, so that is actually the answer to the problem. And, you know, we, we can check that if we, if we want to um, by just seeing here if this equals 5. So if I get, so if I would take x plus y, is equal to 5, and I said, okay, x is 2, y is 3, does, does that equal 5, 3 plus 2, 5 equals 5, so that's a check, okay? So the answer is 23, and 5 equals 5, so we're good.